In this video, I'm going to show you some very important command you may want to use in a Cisco switch when you are troubleshooting fiber optics related issue. The first command you may want to use is the show inventory. So when you use this command on a switch, you can see what kind of hardware you have in the switches. Say for example, if you want to see what kind of optics you have in TE114 that is giving you some problem, you can see that in the inventory. It says description SFP 10 G base LR optics and it gives you the serial number. The second useful command in troubleshooting fiber optics issue is show int the interface number and transceiver detail. It gives you the temperature of the optics, voltage, and the current transmit and the receive power, and make sure these values fall within the range of between high warning and low warning. Say for example, we look at this value, that is the transmit power minus 2.9. It is perfectly falling in between this one. So it is acceptable. If it goes below minus 8.9 or above 1.2, that will be the problem. So in that case, this command will be very useful. Say for example, if you want to see who is the vendor of this optic, sometimes you don't see the vendor of the optics and what kind of wavelength you are using in that optics, what kind of connector you are using the optics, you don't see those kind of information using show inventory or show transceiver details. You need to use show ID prom interface and the interface number. You can get ton of details using this command. If you look at TE114, we can see it is an SFP or SFP plus optics and LC connector have been used with this optics and it is a single mode fiber and it will give you the range of this optics that is it can run the single mode up to 10 kilometers and you can see who is the vendor of this optics and it gives you the part number of this optics you can see the serial number that you saw in the show inventory command and you can see what is the wavelength that has been used in this optics in here it is 1310 nanometer. Sometimes when you use colored optics, it will give you what wavelength you are using in those colored optics. And it gives you many more other information with related to this optics. Hope this video is helpful to you. If so, give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification for future video updates.